called uh, <clears throat> this area is called IMP, Osaka Business Park. I mean not IMP, but it's called uh, it's called uh, what well, is Osaka Business Park? It's the name of the um, station. They have two train stations that come over here. One is the JR. The other one is the uh, Sudumi something line, but it's the yellow line because a lot of foreigners can't read the Japanese and a lot of people get mixed up so they started color coding the train lines <clears throat> and the train that comes over here would be called the um, yellow line this place here called Pronto is very famous pizza pizza place okay. here are some buildings over here oh, sorry about that some buildings over here down this way it's going towards I believe it's Nada yeah, it should be nada. Keep going straight out. You got to come to the, um, turn to the left, get on the Dick Street. It's about maybe an hour drive if you take the street. It's quite a how the traffic is. And uh, if you go by, uh, by the freeway, then it's maybe about 30 minutes. But like I said, the freeways out here, they're very, very uh, expensive. Here is the IMP building. The IMP building and then there's a bridge and the bridge goes over to this building over here and then it goes over to the um, station which is on the other side okay so I gotta cross the street they go to hotel Otani Otani the new Otani building this is in Kobe too it's uh, maybe expensive I think very expensive in Japan you see the taxis they have thousands and thousands they probably have more taxis in Japan than they have bikes well I wouldn't say that but I'm sure the numbers are really close everywhere you go they have a lot of bikes and taxis and things here they had this um, crosswalk here where the people walk over there in that lane and where the bikes are and here in Japan the people walk on the sidewalks and they drive I mean don't drive but they ride their bikes on the sidewalks also my English is screwed, sorry. Okay, anyway, if I were to continue <clears throat> to go down this street, right at the next corner, which is really close, it's called the, uh, that's the Osaka Park, and it has the um, Osaka Castle in it. It's real big, it's real nice. If you guys come out to Osaka, you might want to check it out. And this is the IMP building, okay, International Marketplace. Okay, it's really nice over here, check that out. <clears throat> I would fan around on the inside, but I don't want to get in no trouble. Well, I might not get in trouble. I'm sure everyone does it. But just shops and stuff. But inside of these buildings, you look on the outside, and they're all gray and look dull. But a lot of these buildings on the inside, they, uh, they're really nice. Then they had the Twin Towers over here. But I don't know where the Twin Towers or maybe it's these twin towers on the other side of the tree or this one. Nah, it gotta be this one. These are the twin towers. Excuse me. Oh, well. Yeah, maybe these are the twin towers they call them. Yeah, I think so. So these are the twin towers. I ain't gonna say anything other than that. But you go inside of them, you know, they got different office buildings and things like this. And then here is, uh, the IMP building. It's really tall. Really tall. The outside is real nice. It's real nice. And this is a, um, I guess, the business area. And a lot of people that come over here, they uh, they're mostly are office workers. Different kinds of staff and stuff. Here are some flags over here. Up here it is, the, the International Market Place. Of course you guys can read, but since I'm narrating, I get to read also. And see there's a, some flags, Japan and the British flag. And, oh gosh, I don't know what country flag that is, whose country that is. And that's Mexico. Oh, okay, they got it written over there, so I'll go over here and show you. Uh, India. 
Okay. So here, these are the Italian Republic flag and the Mexican, uh, the United Mexican States. Okay. I never heard of it like that. And India and Australia. Sorry. Well, they almost look like, well, oh, I ain't gonna say anything. And this is the Japanese flag. Okay. And then down here in that building right there with the circle on the top, that's, I mean, you got out, if you go downstairs, there is a train station down there. And usually under, in Japan, in their substations and stuff, they have a lots and lots of, uh, they have lots of uh, shops. And they travel for quite a bit. You can get lost in those sometimes. Not sometimes, but a lot of times you can. Okay, here is another big office building. And there's a lot of people. And then right, just right behind here is, uh, is what? It's the park. I'll, uh, I'll see how far it is. I don't feel like doing too much walking. But that, ain't no, that ain't nice, huh, since I'm narrating trying to show you guys some things. But anyway, this street is always busy. Here, all the cars on this street. And usually there are a lot of people. You see all these bikes? Japan is notorious for bikes and taxis. And what they do is, these bikes aren't really supposed to be here, I don't think. But they give tickets on these bikes. They give tickets and you can't take off the um, tickets. If you do, then you get in trouble. But people ride with them more and they go pay them whenever. Out here in Japan, if you get a ticket, it's not like the cops. They'll just, uh, you don't have to uh, pay. Well, you have to pay, but you know, they'll just send you a bunch of letters forever. You know, they don't come and pick you up. Stuff. I don't know if they pick you up anymore in the States. I know in, uh, in the old days, I think they used to do that. Okay, so here is the IMP. This is one another entrance. I don't know if it's the south or east or west entrance. Let me think. So uh, maybe south. It's maybe the west entrance or the east entrance. Okay, and down here is Osaka Park. It's really big. Right behind here, there is a river. Here, I'll show you the river real quick. But in um, Japan, they have lots and lots of um, shopping areas all around, all around. Well, we gotta cross. And these are with their stop um, traffic signals look like. So they got signs, walk and don't walk. Okay, let's walk over here. Here, they have a toolies. Where is it at? The uh, Tuli's Cafe. Tuli's Cafe. There it is. Tuli's Cafe. It's almost like um, Starbucks. It's kind of um, famous. It might not be kind of famous. It might be very famous. But Starbucks, I'm sure, has more stores. And this area right here where I'm at right now, there is one Starbucks. Two. Two Starbucks that I know of. And they're within five minutes walking distance of each other. All up back in here. I'm sorry. Who, man? Sorry about that. Here is the river that goes to wherever. Down that way is where I'm going to um, Homachi. Homachi. And then the other side of the river is over here. Got the Mio Mio Shopping Center over here some other buildings but these buildings look really they don't look so impressive from the outside but on the inside a lot of them are really really nice really really nice really nice as you can see they have a lot to lots of trees anyway I don't know where I I don't know where I can disconnected from I was doing all this talking and it wasn't even recording anyway oh wow.